Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to go over real quick how to connect a PNP transistor in a circuit um, so that it can power in a load. So this is the diagram of how we'll set up our um, PNP transistor to a circuit to power in a load. So um, to the emitter terminal we connect positive voltage. To the base terminal we connect it to ground through a resistor. And to the collector terminal we connect our load. Um, which will then be connected to ground. So this is the setup that we use. And um, the reason we do this um, is because a PNP transistor is composed of two um, P regions, sandwiches, sandwich in an N region. So um, by connecting it to ground, as you see here, um, or um, or to a voltage more negative or lower than what's connected at the emitter terminal we establish negative current and when current flows out of this um, base region it um, shrinks the end region and by supplying positive voltage to the emitter terminal it produces a force so that the holes in the P region can flow through being that the end region is shrinking it gives the conduit so the holes can just go across and then power in the load. So, um, <clears throat> you know, that's how, um, that's why it's connected, why it is. So in our circuit right here, um, I'm using a 2N3906 PNP transistor. I connect the, I'm using 5 volts to power on the circuit. And this right here, you can see is connected to the emitter terminal. The left, the farthest to leftmost is the emitter terminal. The middle is the base terminal and the last one to the right is the collector terminal. So I connect the the positive voltage, the positive 5 volts to the emitter terminal. I connect the base terminal to ground through a resistor but I actually have a switch in the circuit when it's flipped one way it's connected to positive voltage the base is connected to positive voltage and when it's flipped the other way the base is connected to ground so that you can see the the difference um, when it's connected to ground when it's, and when it's connected to positive voltage um, and then the collector terminal is connected um, to the load when, in this case I'm using LED and the resistor just to limit current to the LED and then I connect it to ground so um, so right now the LED isn't on because the base of the tra of the PNP transistor is receiving positive voltage. Um, so when I flip it the other way, now it's connected to ground. The LED turns on, and this is because now there's negative current um, from the base, so that being that electrons are flowing out of the end region as I showed it shrinks this region so that holes can just go across and um, without the negative voltage the end region is too large so the, the holes can't flow through but when you shrink it by bringing out electrons through negative current it shrinks this region so that holes can flow through to power in the load and this is what you see in this case as we establish negative current flowing out of base to ground it allows for holes to be able to um, to go through and power on the load in this case an LED so this is how we connect a PNP transistor um, to a circuit um, I've also provided a link so that you can see an article on this um, in case you want to see the textual description so you know this is all that's required to connect a PNP transistor.